Alright, 518. I'm going to do a teardown. Pump bolts are a half inch. Band nuts, three quarters. If this won't come out, the inside of that's 40 torques. Usually you can spin the nut and it'll come right off. Most usually the neutral switches are leaking. This one's dry, but I'll probably replace it anyway. Just because they're that bad about leaking. So one inch on the neutral switch. If you're going to use a socket, you got to use a very narrow wall socket. One inch on the speed sensor if you have it. Sixteenths or eleven millimeter on the bolts back here on the tail housing. Torques on the bolts there. and your piston off. Three eighths. snappering off, pull our bearing out. Our clutches and steels and pressure plates for the overdrive. And there's a wavy snappering. There's a flat snappering. Spread the snappering apart. Usually, especially on a 4x4, this where this ring goes in is uh, been uh, misshapen and it's kind of wallered out. So look in there. Actually, you could have checked it before you pulled the overdrive section out. If it'll move back and forth, you need to put a shim in there, and it needs one. Almost all of them do. Alright, I'm going to set that slide.
half inch on the pan. Looking pretty yummy. Now you can take your filter off if you want and check these accumulator springs up here. I always just order one. I almost always broke. 25 Torx on the filter. 25 Torx on these also. This one's not broke, but it will be. And there's different uh, governor solenoids and transducers for different years that you have. 7 sixteenths on the valve body box. <coughs> Band struts out. Accumulator. Sometimes there's a spring under there. I just get a pry bar right there. And uh, of course, since we're on camera, it don't want to come out. There we go. Usually need a narrow wall half inch to get the pump bolts out. Even with the narrow wall, sometimes it's hard to get the socket on there. Check the surface of the pump. Check the surface of your gears. We're looking good. And of course, it needs a bushing always. Yeah, our drum. I don't know. It's uh, I could probably resurface that, but. I think I'm going to. These are bad about the bands. Anyway, I don't want to have a semi bad surface for that that band at all. The flat snap ring here. These are our forwards. And the wavy, big wavy snap ring here. Our fiber washer, Belleville plate. Our piston. Another washer. Another washer. 
semi-wavy snap ring on the drags, or what they call the rear clutch, or front front clutch. I don't remember what Dodge calls it. We always call it drag drum. That's what it does. Take our snap ring off. We got three springs, skip two, three springs, skip two on our piston. Sure not ring cut in there. It doesn't really matter because we're replacing the drum anyway. The front band, if it's not bad, it's going to be bad. Just replace the thing. pretty galled up so it's going to need to be replaced. Check the surface in here, make sure we're okay, our teeth are okay. The sun gears are pretty bad about pitting so they'll be the first to start pitting. They're okay, no back and forth play, no wobble. Shaft, rear planet ring gear, there's a washer here, snap ring down inside, and a pair of pliers like that. There's a washer, you can also check your spread rotation, make sure it locks before you take it out. You got this washer, look at your surface in here real good where they like to eat it real bad. Let's get a screwdriver and get in there on that band strut. Kind of push it down on it. Just pop it out. There's different types of bands for the back. Make sure and we're starting to flake off right there. Starting to score up. I think we can clean that up. Pull out our servos. A scribe or a small pocket flat blade screwdriver. Get in there. Pop it out. It's going to pop up, so try to hold it down. Look at this area real close, especially on the diesel. This will crack. This one here is going to be the one that really pops up. If it don't come up, block that hole right there from squirting fluid at you. Side. Snap ring right there, we're going to pop out. Alright, come on now. There we go. We got a washer and a spring on there. Alright, our case is in. I'm going to go press up overdrive section I gotta press press this down so I can get this snap ring out. This snap ring's not broke, replace it anyway, it will be broke. 
right. When you're pressing this down, you got to have something that's deep enough that this is going to push up out of there. So you got to be able to go around it. This wavy snapping always breaks. Always replace it. And this bearing underneath. And there's no need to take the snap ring off of here and take this apart. It just makes it harder to put together. Our overdrive directs, bottom pressure plate, top pressure plate. Depending on this groove depth here, is how many clutches and steels you take. Overdrive planet. Make sure we're not pitted, not wobbling, things free, overdrive sprag, there's a bearing under here, make sure that that bushing, both of those bushings down in there haven't spun out, and then here's our overdrive sprag and the bearing sits on top, there's some gear, we're looking good, alright, that's it, all right, here we go. This is what we're going to do on this one. We got an LS kit, a plastic filter, which is the deep filter, a pump bushing, a front band, a direct drum, a rear band that's solid. There's two, uh, actually, I think there's three different ones. There's a double wrap, there's a solid, uh, there's one other. Um, let's see, where was I? The front planet, four pinion, there's different planetaries. There's steel ones, there's aluminum ones. It's three pinion, four pinion. 12864, that's a snap ring in the overdrive section that always breaks. Uh, three, four accumulator spring, thick coil. There's thick coil and a thin coil. And most all of them you're gonna see are the thick coil. The governor solenoid transducer. I always replace the manual valve, I do anyway. And take the check ball out of the cooler line so I don't have to worry about my overdrive section getting destroyed because that ball get stuck and this manual valve allows me to do that uh, the neutral switch is three prong rectangle there's a three three prong short three prong long three prong rectangle and five prong so it just depends on which one you got uh, the superior k0126 that's the uh, shim that's going to go into overdrive housing to take up the slack in there on your torque converter on the hub side and be a number stamped in it that tells you what it is at minus 591.